What's up, folks? Have you ever uploaded a frag movie to YouTube and been like, man, this quality sucks? Like, it's just not good. It's blurry. It's pixelated. It's just not what you see other frag movie editors release. Well, I've got simple steps to help you get insane upload quality on YouTube. Stick with me. Let's get started. Okay, so the basics of getting high quality footage right off the bat is making sure you're recording your footage at the highest quality. We just wanna jack up everything to the highest settings. It's pretty simple. It's, it's really nothing overly complicated. So global shadow quality, high. Model texture detail, high. Texture streaming, I disable it because I don't really need it. Uh, effect detail, high. Shader detail, very high. Okay, boost player contrast. You want Counter Strike to look very unaltered in your in your raw footage. Okay, so I turn this off because I don't want Counter Strike to make my players look more contrast than other stuff. Okay, multi core rendering enabled, multi sample anti aliasing mode, eight X. Okay, this disables for me um, FXAA anti aliasing. Um, enable it, but I think my graphics card turns it off. Uh, it doesn't allow it. That being said, turn it on if you can. Okay, texture filter mode, 16x. Uh, vertical sync, I turn off. Motion blur, I turn off because we do that, you know, via frame blending. Triple monitor mode, I only have two. Turn it off. And Uber shaders, I just I let Counter Strike sort of decide that for me, so that's enabled by default. Okay, cool. Apply changes, boom. Okay, great. We just set ourselves up to succeed right off the bat. Okay. Right, right, right away, we know that Counter-Strike is going to be recording at the highest quality, okay? Great. Our next step is to actually record the footage now, and we want to do that without degrading the quality before we even get it into our post-production program, okay? And in order to do that, we don't want to encode the footage, okay? We want to record that footage uncompressed or lossless with the lossless codec, like Huff, Logarith. Now, this isn't really a recording tutorial, so I'm going to point you in the direction of a tutorial that shows you how to record lossless or uncompressed footage. I'm going to put that in the link in the description below. Make sure you go check that out. It's made by yours truly. Okay, now that we've set ourselves up to succeed, let's move on to the actual rendering part after we edit our movie, okay? All right, so YouTube uses the VP9 codec across its entire platform. It used to be different. It used to use different codecs for uh, depending on how successful your video was, but now it uses VP9. But it applies a different bit rate to a video depending on its resolution. So basically, we want to take advantage of that by uploading our video at a higher resolution, almost 4K quality, in order to get preferential treatment from YouTube's encoding algorithm, okay? What we want to do is we want to upscale our video to a higher resolution than what we recorded and made it in, okay? So I've got a video here. It was made in uh, 1080p, okay? And uh, this is for Vegas users. If you're an Adobe Premiere, we'll get to that next, okay? Basically, what we want to do is we want to go to Render in Vegas. Okay, cool. So we're in the encoding screen. Now, here's the thing. The codec that you choose, it's honestly not that important. You can go with Apple ProRes. You can go with H.264. You can go with, um, you know, I don't know, k -Lite, you know, the Kodak pack, you know, just go old school on me. Uh, it doesn't really matter, to be honest, in my opinion, because the, the important part of getting good quality comes after you choose your codec. But I'm gonna show you different ones anyway. Okay, so let's do Apple ProRes, right? And uh, let's let's do, let's just pick, you know, this guy here, go to custom template, okay? Now, okay, so you see, it's set to 1920 by 1080, right? My uh, project setting is actually 1920 by 816, okay? But we'll keep it at 1080 just for simplicity's sake, okay? This is the important part. Not the codec, actually, but this part here, okay? What you want to do is you want to go set custom frame size, and you actually want to double your resolution, both width and height, okay? So 1920 will turn into 3840, uh, 3840 without fat fingers, and height is actually going to turn into 2160. 1920 times 2 and 1080 times 2 comes up with 3840 by 2160. That's the important part right there, okay? As for profile, uh, you know, let's do ProRes 444. Let's make sure we choose 30 if that's your frame rate. And then field order progressive, pixel aspect ratio one, everything else default, go to audio, and sample rate is 4800 or 48,000. 
Okay, great, cool. Just click OK, click render, okay? That's that's it for Apple ProRes. Okay, say you don't want to use Apple ProRes, right? Say we want to, I don't know. I don't know, let's go to video for Windows and then scroll down and click like HD 1080 right there. Okay, cool. All right, so frame size. What you want to do is same exact thing. Go to custom frame size and multiply everything by two, okay? So, um, Say you didn't use 1920 by 1080, right? Say you used 1920 by 816 like I did because I'm a weirdo and I like CinemaScope, all right? So same thing, right? 3840, multiply that by two. Multiply this by two, too, which would be, quick math, 1632. Okay, all right, frame rate. Click your frame rate. I use 30 on this. You could have used 60, whatever. All right, cool. Field order, none, pixel aspect ratio, one. Okay, cool, here's the other thing. Okay, go to video format and choose a codec. I honestly don't care what you use. You could use Huff if you want and keep it uh, you know, lossless. You could go down to, let's see, Xvid MPEG4 codec. Go to configure, profile, just do unrestricted. Encoding type, single pass, we can do two pass where it like, figures out where to apply more bit rate than others but you know it's it's really not that important these days and then just jack this all the way up boom okay great audio keep it at pcm uncompressed 4800 hertz sample rate 48,000 16 bit depth stereo cool hit render. All right, so that's about it. You basically just double your resolution, okay? To get as close to 4K as possible, all right? And what YouTube is gonna do is it's gonna treat it a little nicer. It's gonna look a little better than if you would just upload a 1080p version, okay? All right, cool. Now, let's say you use Adobe Premiere. Well, same thing. We're gonna go into Adobe Premiere, and if you have Adobe Premiere, you most likely have Adobe Media Encoder, okay? And I'll show you how to do the same thing on those two platforms, okay? All right, so we're in Premiere, right? Great, all right. So what we're gonna do, same scene, it's device on train killing people. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to export, okay? And then what we're gonna do is go to send to media encoder, okay? Bring up media encoder, click on the blue text, okay? And what we're gonna do is we'll use H264 as our codec and we'll, uh, yeah, it's just gonna have like this preset already picked out. We're gonna change all the settings though, okay? All right, as you can see, I actually recorded this in 1920 by 816, okay? Again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna double this, okay? So it's gonna be 3840, okay? 1920 by, times two is 3840, and this is gonna be 1632, okay? 1632, because 816 times two is 1632, okay? All right. Yep, change this to 30, render at max depth. And so what I do when I record or when I uh, output out of media encoder, uh, I use about 50 uh, megabits per second, okay? All right, that's, uh, that's usually uh, what I do. Anything above 50 uploading to YouTube, you don't really see a big difference. So 50 seems to be the sweet spot with regards to megabits per second when you're uploading via uh, media encoder, okay? And I highly suggest this method too. If you can get your hands on Adobe Media Encoder, definitely do. It's a preferred method over rendering out of Premiere Straight or rendering out of Vegas, okay? It is been designed to encode. And Vegas and Premiere are not encoders. They're NLEs, nonlinear editors, okay? All right, great, cool. So uh, that's about it. Let's make sure we use max render quality. Let's go to audio. This all looks good, great, awesome. That's it. The secret to getting better quality on YouTube is simply doubling your resolution. That's the big secret. It's not really that secret. It's just a lot of people don't know it. So hopefully now you do know it and now you'll get better quality on YouTube. All right, cool, that's it. I really hope this helped. Now that you know how to get insane quality on your videos, go produce insane quality videos for all of us to watch and enjoy. Until next time, folks.